welcome to Life Change Community. I overheard a conversation yesterday. A couple of men were in the coffee shop debating the merits of the economic stimulus package that's been offered by our government. Specifically, they were referring to some provisions which allowed some unemployed people to receive insurance benefits while excluding others. They were bemoaning what seemed to be the unfairness of it all or the arbitrary nature of who gets it and who doesn't. There seemed to be a fundamental inequity and they were disturbed by it. Have there been times in your life where you've wanted to just cry, that's not fair? Might be something as simple or unimportant as an athletic event or something fundamentally very important, like someone has cancer. When have you believed justice needed to be served, the scales needed to be balanced, fairness needed to be exhibited? It happens in life all the time. I'll tell you why. As long as we're on earth, there will be some injustice. As long as we're mere people, even though there might be some really, really smart people among us, we are but people, and people are flawed, and people are not perfectly wise, and because their decisions are not perfectly wise, unfairness and injustice happens. Add to that the flaw of the human soul, where selfishness and pride reside. And those factors mixed with some bitterness or anger or prejudice well, then the decisions that come forward have another layer of inequity or injustice or unfairness. The human heart cries, God, will you just set it straight? Now, we don't know necessarily if we want him to set it straight with us. We don't know if we want to get the justice we deserve, but there is something right and necessary and holy and hoped for in the human heart. Listen to this promise from God. For the Lord is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice and the nations with fairness. The Lord is king. Let the nations tremble. There's something a bit ominous about that promise, but also something a bit comforting. In the end, justice prevails. In the end, God will exhibit his fairness. In the end, the record will be set straight. In the end, the evils and atrocities of history will be righted. In the end, what has seemed to be so unbalanced and unfair in our world will all be set straight. God's promised it. The Bible says he can do it because he's the king. The Bible assures us he's mightier than nations. It is his strength and it is his justice and it is his fairness that we put our hope in. And we can live our lives that way, knowing for sure that it's all headed to a very fair and very just conclusion. And on those days where it just seems all imbalanced and unfair, hang on to that hope. Cling to that promise. God's fairness can change your life.